Hello and welcome to mobile app marketing video course. In this chapter, I am going to show you how you can discover the estimate size of your market or means the estimate size of your mobile app market research. So if you are into any of the domain, for example, in the last chapter, we uh, literally talked about sports section and assuming that I am creating or building an app on uh, in sports and we had a look at a uh, basketball game and uh, obviously the snooker game, which has been uh, the, the top free app and the paid app. Now in this, uh, what we will actually, before we, um, we get into building the app, we will want to see what is the size of that, the market of our uh, users. Okay, it is quite important that you don't want to build something which has no market or it has limited market size. Now, if you are building the app for public, that means if it is a B2C app business to consumers, then this activity is quite important. Um, otherwise, your app will fail and um, because there's not many people are there to, uh, you know, interest in that particular field then uh, it may be possible that uh, the downloads will not happen. The other reason is that if you're building an app for internal purpose for your own, like if you have 100 employees and you're building an app for to communicate within the, the company itself, within the employees, then yes, it's a different, uh, you don't need to do this exercise, but uh, specifically if you're on B2C, which is the business to consumers, to public, um, this exercise is quite necessary. So let's get into it. Uh, we need to actually go to this site. It's a free site and it's called Google Trends. I'm sure you have come across this. If you haven't come across, just go to this uh, tool. It's a brilliant tool by Google and it gives a lot of insights, absolutely free of cost. Uh, once we go inside this tool, I can then search, let's say, let's talk about the same sports. And this time I will, let's say, check uh, chess. So chess is uh, something I'm building. Let's say, suppose I'm building an app on chess, playing chess. And I want to see how many people are actually um, interest or as in have an interest in playing chess. Okay. So chess as a search item, click that. You can put any, any search uh, item uh, of your particular domain. It doesn't really matter. I'll give you the, um, the results and the, uh, you know, the data points on that particular term. Now on the top, if you see, this is a line graph. Um, and on the top I have, it's by default, it has taken United States. But if you want to check worldwide, because if you're building a mobile app, you might want to look at the worldwide and then see what has been, um, you know, how many, how many people have been interested on that. Okay. You can also, um, you can also edit the duration that means it's from past 12 months if you want to have a look at from past um, this is past 2004 which is about almost 14 15 years um, then you can have a look at that but um, that will be quite a uh, quite a lot but i would say uh, past five years because past five years is something like uh, because sports is something like you you know continue uh, you start from your childhood and then you continue way long uh, and chess is something that which is played in indoors. Uh, so if you have the deep interest in it, uh, you won't mind playing online. You know, um, there are a lot of uh, users who's playing online and you don't have to have even a buddy to actually play along with you. You can just choose people around the world and play uh, this game. Okay, now you just I've chosen past five years, I've taken all categories in a web search. You can do a web search, you can do YouTube, news, Google Shopping, all that search. Um, all categories is what um, you know, arts and entertainments, business. If you want to go into games, you select games, and then it will give you some data on those parameters. Okay, now if you go a little down, and then you will see out of we have selected worldwide. And uh, these are the these are the regions: uh, Kosovo, Norway, Armenia, Albania, Sri Lanka. Now these are the regions out of 77 regions. So I know 
uh, I can see that these are the cities where um, these a uh, lot of uh, you know interest of people who are uh, interested in playing chess. If you want to change from reason to city, you can just select city, and then it will tell you the city as well. Okay, so city uh, city wise, if you want to check, so there are quite a bit of cities in India playing chess, and there are 22 cities. Now, why is this? Why 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 are we doing this? It's important to actually when you start marketing your app, and you might want to initially uh, boost your app downloads, then you have to um, you have to do some advertisements. When you do the advertisements on either on Facebook or Google, which uh, I will be talking more in detail in the next coming chapters, um, you will have to select these cities because you know that people who are uh, interested in playing chess, they come from these cities, okay? Or the region, whichever you like. You can download this, the whole um, cities on 22 cities, it will download, or you can just uh, make it, um, make a note on your notebook, okay? Now, related, uh, related, related topics is in so there is already some websites here. Chess24.com, I think it's quite popular. Um, World Chess Championship 2016, Chess World Cup 2015. There are 19 topics and uh, related queries. So these are the keywords actually, which um, you know, out of 25 queries, then these are the these are the keywords has been uh, ranked right on the top. This is again useful for uh, uh, for creating your marketing plan and choosing those keywords, but make sure that um, those keywords, if you see, is already 2016, which has gone past way back two years. You don't want to choose that keyword. Maybe you want to choose just Olympia 2018, which is, uh, I think is going to happen. And you see, there is, um, uh, you can explore is uh, quite a bit of uh, ratio percentage uh, it's quite, uh, it's coming up on the first five related queries. Okay. You can search for uh, 25 queries. You want to, you want to uh, check and you want to maybe look at the top ones. You just click on top and these are the queries. When you say queries is actually keywords uh, on Google search because this Google trend is, is a Google tool itself. So they're giving the same, uh, same data, which you will find on Google search anyways. So online chess game, chess play chess, chess games, chess results. These are some uh, of the queries which you want to take into consideration and put it into your marketing strategy. Okay. So this is a little bit of um, um, a little idea of getting uh, and doing a little estimate of your um, market size. The cities, uh, obviously, in uh, obviously um, the related queries and it is showing the all of these uh, you know even the regions and cities where all people are interested in playing chess okay this is a very small um, exercise which you need to do before and way before you even decide to um, start building your app okay that is it for this chapter i will now see you in the next one bye for now